Okay, so welcome to my channel. I am 28, I live in Florida, and I have stage four colon cancer. I was originally diagnosed in 2019 with stage three C colon cancer. I did uh, 12 cycles of chemo um, in the beginning of January of 2020. And then shortly afterwards, I found out I was pregnant um, in November after finishing chemo in July of 2020. So November of 2020, I found out I was pregnant. No, November 2020, I got pregnant. I didn't find out I was pregnant until April of 2021. I avoided the doctors because obviously now that I was diagnosed with cancer, I was scared that I would be diagnosed again with something related to do with cancer and I didn't want it to spread blah blah, blah. obviously things happened so after I found out I was pregnant and I had my baby in August of 2021 about two months later again in November I fucking hate November um I found out I was again um experiencing metastasized tumors in my abdominal wall which is my muscles my abdomen yeah. muscles um i have a lump on my left side and i am now recategorized as stage four colon cancer so to recap hi i'm ruthly i fucking hate cancer <clears throat> I want this channel to be somewhere where people who have questions or want to know more about how life is or what to expect life to be like while you have cancer, you know, I want it to be that type of thing. I want to support anyone who may have the same things that I'm going through or something that is similar to it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into what's going on right now, because we're going to talk about this shit. For one, I now have to have surgery, okay? And that's going to be in a week, I'm going to say. Not even, not, not a week yet, but like a week and a couple days. It's going to be July 12th. I'm going to be officially having... A full hysterectomy, um, a cytoreductive surgery, and a hot chemo bath in my abdomen. You can do research on that to kind of find out what that means. But um, the hot chemo bath is like a hype. It's called the HIPEC. H-I-P-E-C. So um, I'm going to have all three of those surgeries. And it's going to be about... 11 to 19 hours of surgery. It can vary depending on how much they have to do while in there or if you have any complications, obviously. I'm hoping that mine will be simple enough to where it won't be so difficult for me to recover because obviously you saw my kid. I have a baby. So I need to be able to recover pretty quickly so I can go back to being a mom, especially since I'm a single parent. Um, I've been doing research and I didn't find out too much information, but I want to share it, what I did find out, okay? And it's going to be off the dome, off the dome, things that I remember about what I've researched and found out. For one, um... The, the surgery is going to be essentially from your breastbone, okay? From, like, right here all the way down to, like, the top of your, your mound, the top of your pubic mound, okay? So that's going to be a long line. Um, sometimes you can lose your belly button. I'm hoping that I don't lose mine. Um, I also know from experience from my hemicolectomy that I had back in 2019, 
um, for my emergency surgery that um, if I wear a bra, like, honestly, I'm not going to be able to wear a bra. And I have some big dogs, okay? Okay, I have some big dogs. So I'm going to have to tape them up and use that, like, boob tape that they have because I can't wear a bra and have, like, that surgical surgical like um incision site you know what i mean it's gonna be really painful for me especially since it's gonna be like my breastbone uh, right under there um and the last time i had my hemicolectomy i was not able to wear a bra for a while um i mean i tried and it was it was uncomfortable to say the least so um i also found out that um you may experience like numbness and that could be in your hands and legs and feet from how long you were under anesthesia and strapped down for the surgery. Um, and that could be due to also some of the chemicals from the chemo. Um, I found out that you may also have an ileostomy, which for some of those that you that don't know, I think I want to say it's the bag that goes like right here and you have to like poop out of it. And sometimes that's temporary and sometimes it can be forever. Like it could be reversible, but sometimes it's, it, it's kept there forever. So it depends, I believe. I don't know what the measures are for, the parameters are for why it could be reversible and why it can't. Um, but anyway, I'll find out later and I'll let you know about that too. I also found out that you will have an NG tube and that will be going through your nose, down into your stomach after you have your surgery. And that's because of the fact that they want to give your digestive system a break from digesting like, you know, um, really like fibrous foods and that would be like harsher for you to, you know, poop out or whatever um i found out that you will be in the hospital for six to 20 days it can be anywhere from six to 20 days um sometimes you can get out within five to six days sometimes you might be there for 10 days sometimes you might be there for 20 days it all depends on how you're doing they want you to be able to walk which means a couple steps be able to stand up on your own obviously be able to fart and poop and pee on your own and obviously I think it's also like a couple like bites on your own as well because you're not supposed to keep the NG to like to go home or anything it's just supposed to be for the hospital for the time being for like a couple of days or something like that but um what else I have a pulmonary exam coming up. I took a COVID test today, and today's Sunday, July third. I took a pulmonary, and I took a COVID test, in in preparation for my pulmonary exam that will be done on Monday. No idea what that means. I will let you guys know what it is once I have it. And I accidentally missed my pre-op, like, um, my pre-op, um thing with like my anesthesiologist and like the nurse that works with like my other surgeon um so I have that coming up I want to say on the 7th so I think that's actually Thursday yeah so there's a lot going on and um I'm gonna keep you guys posted about this because I wish somebody out there would have told me all of this information I wish someone out there would be honest and post this stuff because like how how are you supposed to mentally prepare if nobody is actually communicating any of this you're just letting other people twirl in the wind and like try to find and navigate on their own like this murky ass fucking water called the life of cancer patients and y'all not y'all not being as helpful as you need to be so i'll do it i'll be a girl and i'll tell you guys the truth i'll let you guys know the dealio okay
and I'll tell you guys right now, I experience pain about 20 to 30 percent of the time. Okay, my left side is killing me. Okay, getting approved for the surgery was a process. My Medicaid, because I can't work, okay, I'm no longer able to work. Um, my Medicaid was giving me trouble because they wanted to say that I still had Blue Cross Blue Shield when I didn't anymore. So therefore, they were my primary and they wanted to say they were my secondary. And it was this back and forth for, I kid you not, six months. Thank God my doctor's office are like understanding and they're just like, we'll, we'll figure it out as it comes or whatever. We'll keep working on it, but you can keep getting treatment because on God, what if, what if they didn't want to give me treatment anymore because they, you guys kept denying my claims, which is something your insurance companies can do. Apparently they can deny their claims of a cancer patient getting chemo. Hmm, that's strange. Bitch, I'm not getting this shit for fun. Stupid. Is this camera on me? That's stupid. Oh, it's this camera? Well, that's stupid, okay? That's stupid. Who does that? Why would you, why would you deny my claims for getting chemo? Something's not clicking. <laughs> so anyway, once I finally got approved, like, for the surgery, obviously, I am now able to go ahead and get everything set in stone for my surgery date. And I'm just nervous. I'm honestly just nervous because of the unknown. And I'm trying to trick my mind into thinking this is, like, a really intense like liposuction BBL so that I can really focus, hyper focus on getting better after surgery. I don't know if anyone else, because they don't talk about it. I'm sorry, guys, sorry. I don't know if anyone else who is about to get the high pec surgery with a hysterectomy and CRS or whatever ever tried to trick themselves in order to make themselves... Um, heal faster afterwards but i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna let you know how it goes let's see if we can make our brain make this work because it's mind over what matter okay and we're gonna see we're gonna see so nonetheless that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> i'm just kidding um thanks for watching um I mean, I'm going to post more. I'll try. I want to say I'll try and post every day because I want this to kind of be like a journaling for me. But if you know me in real life, you know I'm really unpredictable. Unpredictable. Got something. Mm -mm -mm. That's not how the song goes, but whatever. Um, Yeah. So obviously it's, it's not that grim being a stage four cancer patient i don't look that horrible and my hair is honestly cut because i i started to lose it during the chemo that i was going through but it's obviously grown back and so i was really just tired of having hey sorry i was just tired of having jackson come here Jackson, come here. Yeah. I was tired of having um, long hair, so I just wanted to get rid of it. So I went ahead and chopped it off. And I usually do finger waves. I 10 out of 10 recommend a short haircut for anybody um, who wants it because it is great. It is wonderful. And I love it. I love every minute of it. And I look like... He looks like me now. He looks more like me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I like I said, we'll try and post every day. So today's Sunday and the countdown begins for my surgery. Say bye. Bye 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 bye.